Not too long ago, I made a video about rib nuts, what they are, some of their uses, and how to install them. I also reviewed this rib nut setting tool. And since I made that video, I have used rib nuts in a bunch of projects, including my DIY track vehicle and my mini jet boat. And I have also found a better way to install them. And before I get started, I do want to point out that I bought these drill adapters with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. I also have links to these items down in the description of the video. So check out those links if this is something that you might be interested in purchasing for yourself. There are two different versions of this tool. Really, the only difference is the size of the mandrels. This one will do smaller rib nuts, such as M3, 4, and 5, and it will do Imperial from 832 all the way up to a quarter 20. This one will do metric M5 through M10, and it starts off at a quarter 20 Imperial, and it goes up to a 3 8 by 16 Imperial thread. The drill adapters will connect to any cordless drill, and it is recommended to use one with a torque limiting feature such as this one, because it is still possible to bend and break these mandrels if you apply too much torque to them. And that's one of the biggest complaints I've got against a tool like this is because when you're pressing down on these levers, it's really hard to tell how much torque you're putting into the tip. And I can't tell you how many of these mandrels I've bent or broken or rib nuts that I've stripped the threads out of, especially on the smaller sizes. So being able to set the amount of torque that is going into the rib nut is a big plus and one of the reasons why I like these new drill adapters. Another advantage that these drill adapters have over using a tool like this is that you don't need this much space to use it. When I was trying to set the rib nuts in my mini jet boat, it was really hard to get these levers open wide enough and at the right angle without them actually hitting something in the engine compartment. That's one of the advantages that this tool has over the others is that it doesn't require as much space. All I need to do is set this into place and pull the trigger on my cordless drill and I can set a rib nut. It is also recommended that you wear gloves when using this tool because you do have to hold this in your hand and keep this from spinning in order for the tool to work. And trust me, the drill has a whole lot more torque than you have in your hand and you do not wanna be holding this barehanded when the drill wins the torque contest. Don't ask me how I know this. Let's take a closer look at this drill adapter. It is the larger size. It does come in a blow molded case and it does come with a wrench that makes it handy for setting all of these mandrels into place. And on the mandrel sizes, this one will do M5, M6, M8, and M10. And on Imperial, it starts at 1024. It does quarter 20, 5 16 by 18, and 3 8 by 16. And I actually have the original piece of metal that I used in the first video where I set this rib nut as a test to see how strong it holds. And I put a bolt in here and torqued down on it with my socket wrench because I wanted to see if I could break this rib nut free and the bolt actually broke off inside of the rib nut. The rib nut never did let go, so that let me know that the rib nuts are actually stronger than the bolts. So let's try this experiment again, but this time let's set the same size rib nut using the drill adapters. All right, so I have got my hole drilled. I am wearing my gloves and I have my quarter by 20 rib nut ready to go. Let's see how well this works. Okay, so this rib nut is installed, but I wanna show you this. This is the easiest way I've found to get the tool out of the recently installed rib nut, and that is to back the drill off just a little bit to relieve the pressure off of this, and then actually remove the drill from the tool, and then just spin it off. Okay, so here is the rib nut that I just installed into this piece of metal. Let's clamp this down and break out my socket set and see which gives way first, the bolt or the rib nut. Now 
And there we go, the bolt broke before the rib nut gave way, so that means that the rib nut wins the bolt contest. Okay, so the rib nuts are still stronger than the bolts. I really didn't have any doubt because this tool is very capable of properly setting the rib nuts. So now that we've done that little experiment, let's go to a real world use for some rib nuts. Okay, so here is my real world application for some rib nuts. This is the hood that goes over the engine on the mini jet boat. And I've got these holders and I wanna mount them on the bottom side of the hood. And what it will do is it will just hold this navigation light in place when it's not being used. This is a removable light and there's no sense having it out unless it's dark and I need to use it. So the problem is this aluminum is only an eighth of an inch thick and it's really not thick enough to get a good bite on a screw. So drilling and tapping it isn't really the best option. The rib nuts will give me more threads for these screws to hold on to. Okay, so I've got the holes drilled where I want my rib nuts to go. And I have also switched over to the smaller tool because I am setting 10 by 24 rib nuts into these holes. Let's see how well this works. All right, so I've got all four of my rib nuts installed and that smaller tool worked just as good as the larger one. So I've got my holders screwed into place. That means my light is now ready to be stowed away. So if you think this is something that you can use in your shop, remember I have got links to these down in the description of the video. They certainly have come in handy in my shop. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there will find some good uses for them as well. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.